What's up, everybody? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to bypass with cellular data. With cellular data. Yeah, this is for iPad Mini 2 model. And today I have here iPad disabled device and you can show it to you that it is actually locked. And this procedure actually works for iPhone 5S up to iPhone 10. So without much ado, let's proceed and start. This is going to be a step-by-step -step process. I'm going to show video for video for every step of the process on the way. So first step, we're going to jailbreak the device with check ring. Let's open check ring and put the device in recovery mode. So we'll allow it to be placed in recovery mode and then it's gonna boot up. Take note guys, that this is still in a disabled state. So we will have problems with check ring if we do it the usual way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place this in diagnostic mode right after it boots up. We're gonna press the home button and the volume up button all together right after we play the device in DFE mode. So here we are now in DFU mode and right after this I'm going to press the volume up and the home button all together without releasing until we reach the all done step. Watch as I Here we go, we are in diagnostics mode and notice that Right after that, it's going to continue booting up to all done. There you go, guys. Now we're going to proceed to step two of the process, which is now the installation and the patching of the USB to enable our device for us to jailbreak without encountering error 20. So here I am demonstrating it to you. I'm opening the Mina Patcher package. So it is in a zip file, we download the link below. First up is we're going to install this. So right after you install it, it's going to appear in your applications folder. Just open the file and then click the patch button. And once you're done, the USB. So now the third step guys is we're going to use the sliver tool in Windows. I find it more comfortable here because I can manipulate and save the application files and save it in our specific folder where I want it to be to retrieve it for future use. So now we just have to open the sliver tool version, version 4.3. So this is the interface. Click on dump file. Wait for a few seconds for it to complete the process and there you go. Successfully save, restore your device and click bypass i device. Now we're going to double check if we have saved the files by going into this folder and checking that we have the magic files or the activation records saved. So now I'm just going to store it and save it somewhere else, a copy of it, so that in case it gets lost, I have a backup copy of it. So, yep. So there you go, I created a backup copy and I'm zipping the backup. Okay, we're done. So now we can go ahead and restore the device and do a factory fresh reset. So in here, I'm showing to you where you can download those IPSW files, which we're gonna need for the restore process. It's IPSW.me. I'm also going to provide the link down there. And, um, once you're in the website, you just have to navigate and find the device model which you're trying to restore. In my case, it's the iPad Mini 2. So let's just scroll down below. There we go. I found it. iPad Mini 2. Yep. Not the China model, but the cellular model. So you just have to click that one and use that file. It's around three gigabytes. You can also see here that the signed IPSW firmwares are 12.4.6 and 12.4.4. In my case, I'm going to use the 12.4 version because it's much stable and you can see it's 2.75 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and download this file, pause the video, and I'm gonna go back once I've completed the download. 
See you once again once the file is downloaded. So offline, I've restored my iPad with iTunes. Um, I used the IPSW that was downloaded, which is the 12.4.4 version. And now my iPad has been restored to its factory settings on the 12.4 firmware. Now we're going to do the jailbreak again. Go ahead and re-jailbreak using the check ring again, right after the restore. So it's going into recovery mode, hitting the start button and holding the power button and the home button all together and then releasing it. Um, while holding the volume down, it's now ex injecting the exploit. So we'll just allow it to do its magic. There you go, it's booting up, running some bunch of codes, and we should be done. Now it's on the Apple logo, and we're done. So as you can see here, I'm still on the activation screen. So now we're going to head over to our Windows PC and perform the activation using the activation files we have saved earlier before the restore process. So the next few steps, we're just going to launch the sliver tool and instead of clicking or using the bypass method, we're going to use the activate method. So I'm going to launch sliver tool, click the activate button, and let it do its magic. Okay, there you go. So it's something that we've successfully activated the device and it's now okay to restore or restart rather. So we're just restarting our device and right after this, we should be able to see that we should have fast the activation setup. So now I'm just going to try that here. So I'm booting up the iPad now. So you can see it's still on the activation screen and then setting it up. Okay, so this should work now guys. I'm using the LTE connection. And there you go, boom. So we've just successfully bypassed the iPad device and this is an iPad mini cellular model. And I've just successfully used the sliver 4.3 version using the activation files that was previously saved on the device. So guys, this method would should work also on the iPhone 5S up to the iPhone before we end the video, I'm going to show to you that the cellular data is actually activated and I can actually use and browse my internet using the cellular or the SIM card of this device. I'm just going to switch SIM cards with um, data on it. So I'm going to open the browser, demonstrate it to you that I can actually access. There you go. I can actually do browse and open the browser. So thank you for watching guys. This procedure should work also on the iPhone 5S up to the iPhone 10 if you have a passcode or disabled iPhone, meaning that hasn't been jailbroken yet or bypassed. This will also not work if you're trying to activate a carrier lock device because what it will do is simply restore whatever activation records is saved on your device. So to help you recall what we did and sum it all up, we did it in six steps. First, we jailbroken the device with the diagnostics tool technique. And second, we patch the USB, the Minicurse tool, USB patcher. And third, we save the cellular activation files that's already saved in the device using the sliver tool. And then fourth, we restore the device using the Sign OS firmware. Offline, I use iTunes to restore the device, but you can also use three U tools for this process. And fifth, we jailbroken the device in the regular way. And lastly, we went back to the Windows PC using the sliver tool to activate using the saved activation files stored in the magic file folder. So it's quite lengthy guys, but it's worth a try. Try it and comment down below if you have any issues or errors encountered along the process. I'd be glad to help you out on this. Thank you for watching and see you.